Hi, in this video I'm going to cover the topic of how to add on your IP cameras onto uh, your Dahua NVR, how to avoid problems and how to overcome them problems uh, if you do come across them, okay? So the first and most important piece of advice is um, add on the IP cameras one by one, okay? It's really important to do it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add on two cameras. I'm going to add on a bullet camera and I'm going to add on a turret camera that I have on the table in front of me. So what I've started off with, I've just two cables here, both come from the back. This one comes from port number three. This comes from port number one. Um, there are PoE, it's a, the, the Whois are PoEs. Uh, in terms of the NVR that we have here. So there's no, the, everything has been powered data, everything coming off the one thing here. So what I'm gonna do at the very start here is I'm just gonna push this in. And normally we'd say, if we don't go and want to go into our menu or something like that, all we have to do is just wait and the picture will pop up here, okay? So what it's doing is it's looking and it's allocating an IP address over to the camera and it's saying, I'm referring to you by your IP address from this port. And that's exactly how it wants it for you see it. So it does want to see a different camera with a different IP address there and it doesn't want to see that camera on a different IP port because if it does it's trouble for you okay. Now the other thing it doesn't want to do is it doesn't want you to plug in two cameras at the one time because then it can get confused in terms of which IP address is doing it. So wait for the thing to come up. So you can do it in one or two ways. You can plug it in and you can wait here or you're relatively impatient like myself you come along and you can go for main menu you go into camera you come along and we just search the device. So we'll see one device comes up here and that is actually the NVR itself. So it's effectively saying, I see something on the network, it's me, okay? So we'll see this camera here and it's there. So that's great. And if we want to come along and we want to modify it here, we'll see the cameras popping up in the background here. I'll actually just exit out for a minute. So that's the camera there. And if I come along and put my a remote control in front of it there, for instance, let's see there, that's it, okay? So we can see that that is indeed the camera. and. What I'll do here is I'll just go back into main menu again. I'll go to camera and I'll say, okay, well, we might want to modify some stuff here with the camera. So what can we modify? Well, I can change the name. So I'll just go back here and I'll call it video room. So vidr hash one. Okay, and that's the thing, enter. And now what we can do is I can save that and I can edit. The IP address, you can see you can't edit that. There's a TCP, uh, there's a password thing. It's just picking up the password and the username directly from uh, the NVR itself, which you would set up. We showed that in the previous video. If it, if it got mixed up or something like that, you could manually enter it there, but that's what it's looking at. Not specifically for the camera, but for the NVR itself to log directly in on it, okay? And what we'll just do is we'll apply that and we'll go okay and we'll come back out. We'll see the camera has been changed here, okay? So at this point, it's safe to plug in our next camera. So I'm just gonna push this directly in. I can just wait again for it to come up, okay? So again, we just can go back in and we can go to device here and it'll just wait and it'll pop up. Um, or what I'll do here is I'll just exit all the way out here. And uh, we'll just wait in this position here for a moment. And um, if you're used to working with DVRs where cameras pop up within five or 10 seconds, this is just a little bit off putting here on it. And people often think something's wrong here. So this is one of the importance of the video here is let people know there's nothing wrong. That's just the way it is with IPs, okay? So if you just go to the main menu here, I'll go back into the camera again, and I'll just check again. And what we really want is the NVR and two cameras to start popping up. And often I come along and I'd say, this is gonna work for me for sure. Now you see this here, D3, that's actually the port it's coming off of and that represents here in the third block. So it's one, two, three, four. So the next camera to come up, because I know it's coming off port one, should come in here, okay? So I'll just do device. Again, second uh, thing there with the camera, and then we have the third one there. So there we have it, the ones on the list here. And what we can do down here is I can come along and I can say I want to modify that. And this one here, I'll just call it, um, I'll just call this one Tart. T U Tart. Okay, and uh, I'll just go enter and all the things then, different IP address there. I'll save that and I'll apply it. I'll just go okay. So now we have one camera called this, all the rest of it. 
and then we can exit back out. Now, why did you come along and you wanted to delete a camera off, right? And this is a fairly common thing on it. Well, the first thing is we can delete cameras fairly easily here and the cameras are gone. But the thing with it is, is the cameras are still connected in and it's constantly searching for devices. So we can just come along, it sees those things and it'll just add them back on, okay? So what you'd want to do is you would want to actually disconnect them when you are taking them off. So disconnect them there. So they're all gone there now. And if you do a device search, then it shouldn't find them, okay? So it just has a thing like that. So what we'll see is we might need to continuously refresh them here and all the rest of it. But the only absolutely sure way of getting rid of those cameras is to come along and do a full factory reset on the NVR itself. That's, that's what the professional advice in relation to these is. Because then you go, you set up your whole thing again, and then it really is seeing the cameras effectively for the first time. So it's a bit more complicated than other things. So, but there is always a recovery mode on it in terms of everything goes wrong, it's just completely pear-shaped, come along, do an, an NVR reset. And the other thing about it is, is if you disconnect the cameras for whatever reason and then reconnect them with the same camera coming off of the same port, you know, you can plug the four of them in one after the other in that case, but you have to get it right. If you change a different camera to a different port, something like that, then you're into problems again. So, you know, the problems on NVRs can look catastrophic. Now, we're doing this on the Dehua uh, uh, here, but it's fundamentally the same rules, regardless of which one you're using, okay? So I'm gonna stop here, don't have to turn this into an overly long video, but that's basically a pretty good guide on how to add cameras onto your IP uh, Dehua NVR.